For high schooler Isabella Manhart, a climate action plan should have been put together decades ago. Omaha can't continue to pretend that we're making progress while really dragging our feet on crucial issues. Now the city has began making steps to put together one and got a jolt of support Tuesday after the city council voted six to one to support a plan. The plan is in draft form now and council president Pete Festerson said it can include anything from slowing carbon emissions to watching the city's purchases to reevaluating plastic bags in grocery stores. While it may cost plenty of money in the long run, he says it's the right thing to do. This will require some resources up front for implementation, but I also think these efforts, when they're done well, typically do save money anyway, in addition to being the right thing to do for our climate and for the environment. Festerson said it could be an 18 month time frame before a plan is formalized, but says he'll push to make the process go faster. Manhart implored city leaders to quicken the pace and bring on young people like herself when making the plan. We're really sick of being patient while the timeline for a tenable future in this city gets shorter and shorter. The lone no vote was council member Amy Melton. So I do think the devil's in the details and I have a lot more questions. Who worried about the potential unknown costs and wants to ensure a wide range of community members are involved because the plan would affect many different sectors. And I think maybe a lot more people should have some input in this. Uh, before we just blindly say we just want a climate action plan at any cost. In Omaha, John Kipper, 3 News Now.